world wants more of us than we can give them at the moment. I had no idea that uh, the Perth was involved in this sort of medical research. At first glance, this might look like a hospital ward, but what's happening within these walls has the potential to save lives all over the world. Before a therapy can get to patients, we need to know whether it's safe to give and whether it works. It's called the Linear Clinical Research Facility and it's hot property for global drug companies. A crucial first step in trialling new medicines on people. These therapies start out as an idea in someone's head, a bright uh, spark of inspiration, but at some point you need to do that very exciting step of putting it into a human for the first time. Fifteen years ago, the idea was created that Perth would be an ideal place to base world-first clinical trials. I think the thinking was we'd, uh, we'd get to about 20 people, we'd do a handful of studies and we'd have success. Uh, as we've seen, we've, we've outshot that by, by some margin. When we came up with the idea of a phase one clinical trials facility nearly 15 years ago, we never dreamed we'd be having a facility as sophisticated and as busy as this. Helped uh, in the development of new treatments for multiple sclerosis, for HIV, for Alzheimer's disease, for uh, liver disease, uh, really you name it, we've probably touched it. No clinical trial is possible without guinea pigs, or in this case, a small army of human volunteers who are housed here around the clock, perhaps overnight, over a couple of days, or even several weeks. Normally they are students, um, sometimes they're backpackers, individuals who are travelling around the world, um, sometimes uh, self-employed individuals, and individuals who really just want to do something for the greater good. Others, like David Hunter, might one day have a drug to treat their disease. The condition I've got is fatty liver disease, um, something that I believe a lot of the population has but don't know about it. A referral saw him trial a new drug that could be a potential game changer for future sufferers. There's no current treatment on the market and it does have some long-term liver complications. It was a fairly easy experience. They provide all the food and you come in and uh, bring your laptop and watch a movie or do some work. They're dosed at specific intervals and the medical assessments or clinical assessments that we perform on them have to be done at set times. Clinical trials are very safe. They're very heavily regulated. Tell us what's going on here. Okay, well, in order to test the safety of the new treatments uh, that we're trialling, we need to do lots of clinical assessments out there in, in, the, uh, in the clinic, but we also need to take lots of blood from our participants. And so those samples come into this lab where they're carefully prepared for analysis uh, in laboratories that might be all around the world. Developing a new drug is a global journey. Medicines are typically sent to Perth from a major drug company in the US or Asia. Linear does clinical assessments and may send blood samples to a global lab in somewhere like Singapore. Data is then returned to them to ensure the trial is progressing safely. Eventually the entire study data may be sent overseas again for statistical analysis before findings are shared with the drug companies. There's nothing speedy about bringing a new drug to the masses. It can take up to 15 years meaning Linear is only now starting to see which ones from its early days were winners. Two perhaps well-known ones, Optivo and Keytruda. Uh, these are two anti-cancer drugs, immunotherapies, now available to patients widely, usually for treatments like melanoma. Sometimes it helps. Occasionally, the cancer disappears. About 40% of the cancer trial participants have had some benefit, and in a small number of cases, they've had a complete response, which has been remarkable. Why Perth? Why would you do a clinical trial here in Perth? In the US, it might take six months, maybe nine months to kick off a study. Compare that to Australia, where we can start something in as little as four to six weeks. We've got a really great team that's got a global reputation now for handling these studies with care and, uh, and, and with the quality that they require. Does that mean we're actually going to be able to reverse the brain drain? We're probably one of the few places where you can uh, work on these kinds of problems. So, yeah, I think, I think we're doing our part to keep the, uh, keep the smarts in WA. From a small startup in 2010 to the world stage, in just nine years, Linear's growth is off the chart. Is that linear or is that exponential? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing linear about our growth. It's definitely, definitely exponential. Now that really is brain. We all take advantage of medical technology um, and uh, what it does for our lives, but it was my chance to, to sort of give something back to, to it and uh, make a contribution to the future. To be the first frontier, to be able to bring those therapies to Western Australia first before anywhere else in the world is, is really exciting.